Would you believe me if I told you that you can make your DJI Pocket 3 videos way more interesting by just learning a few basic movements? Well, in this video, I want to show you how to do that, even if you are a beginner. The orbit shot is a circle motion around a subject, and for this movement, I like to use tilt lock on the Pocket 3, and the idea is to walk around your subject and keep it in the middle of the frame at the same time. This helps to create a dynamic movement between the subject and the background that we know as parallax effect. A lot of times there is no physical space to do an orbit shot, and in those situations there is a trick that I like to use which is like a flat semicircle. I know, it doesn't make any sense, but the idea is to select a center point in front of your subject. You want to start a few meters away and walk towards that center point and then keep going just a bit more. You also need to keep your subject in the middle of the frame from the beginning to the end. And this is an example of what it looks like. push in and the pull out are perhaps the most basic and easiest movements that you can do, but they can create a very powerful effect. When you push in, it helps to focus on a subject, but composition is also important, so I also like to use this movement when I see a symmetrical scene. Pushing in on a doorway or a similar structure is going to create a beautiful shot because it helps to frame the background. For these shots, most of the time I prefer to use tilt lock on the gimbal, but sometimes I like to tilt the camera upwards when I'm pushing in, and for that you would need to use follow mode on the Pocket 3. The pullout movement will help to reveal more of the scene around the subject or your location, and it helps to create an interesting perspective. My recommendation here is to look out for elements that can be used, for example, as a foreground, as this will emphasize the movement. For this other video, I went inside this tree house and there was this window looking towards this lovely character. With the Pocket 3, I extended my arm outside the window and slowly pulled myself away. This window became my foreground element and it framed my shot very well. Also known as a tracking shot, the follow shot is useful when you need to follow a moving character. The more traditional way to do it is in the back of the subject, but you can use any angle that you want. This means that you can use the Pocket 3 in front of your subject, or you can track a person from the side. You can also try to use a different distance between you and your subject just to mix things around. And for these kind of movements, I also like to use tilt lock on the gimbal. Something important to consider when you're using the Pocket 3 is the way you walk. Yeah, the gimbal does a very good job making your videos more stable, but it cannot compensate the up and down movement that happens as we walk. You've probably heard about the ninja walk and you can do that, but the main things that you need to consider is to walk smoothly and pay attention to your arm moving up and down and try to avoid that. It's going to take some patience and time, but eventually you're going to get the hang out of it. The crane shot is also a very easy movement that you can do with the Pocket 3 by locking the tilt axis so the camera keeps pointing forward. All you have to do is raise the Pocket 3 in a vertical movement. You can use foreground elements as well, but I find this movement to be great to slowly reveal details of a subject if you get close enough. Very similar to this movement is the tilt shot, which should not be confused with the crane. But who cares about the name anyway? The Pocket 3 needs to be on follow mode, 
and for this movement, you just have to point down with the camera and then slowly raise it. You can also do the opposite and point up and then slowly lower the pocket 3. In this video clip, I combine the push-in movement with a tilt shot to create a more dynamic video. These movements are not difficult to do. It will take a bit of practice, but I'm sure that you can do it with no problems. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of movements you like to do with the Pocket 3. I hope you're having an amazing day and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye.